You know, uh, there's what's called Hollywood, California. Yeah. <laughs> but when I was looking at the map of Florida, they have a city named Hollywood in Florida. <laughs> Quite a coincidence reading the same word twice in the, the same 30 minutes. Yes. As if it were a sign. Yeah. Hollywood pooch in Florida. Yes. Hollywood in California. Are you somewhat uh, superstitious? Yes. Do you think of omens and various signs in your environment that point you in the way that you should go? Yes. Let's all go to Hollywood and see what they're doing today. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not big on this uh, providential coincidence. Yes. A lot of people said the Lord, it was the Lord that told me to do it. Or <laughs> I was reading the signs of what God was explaining to me. Yes. And I, I really think God wants us to go to Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> Could you get me all of those in the, oh, look, it's a well-known world. <laughs> Motion picture capital. <laughs> you know, um, they make a lot of movies there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, there's more than one director, isn't that right? Yes. Now, I'm not really attempting to think of anybody, but multiple names have just entered my mind. Yes. But let's look at all the directors that we don't know about. Not the Ron Howards. No. Not the Steven Spielbergs. No. Oh, look at Avatar. <laughs> you know, if I was to look at the actual frequencies and the radio transmissions, coach. The broadcast locations and all the equipment used in the motion picture industry. <laughs> it's one of these where I think that somebody in Hollywood wants us to think of well-known personas yes, without our consciously trying to remember their names. Yeah. Do you, do you think there's like a... A suggestiveness. Yes. It's kind of like Hollywood, Hollywood. <laughs> There's the providential yes, <laughs> guidance of the omniscience of God. <laughs> And then there's technology that wants you to think of somebody that you didn't want to think of. Yes. Now, why don't you just get me the actual border mm -hmm, of the city of Hollywood? Yes. Any frequencies? Any flowering plants there? <laughs> Any vaginal muscles that... Oh, there is. <laughs> there are actual women in Hollywood that do have vaginas. Yes. That are involved in the manufacture and sale of motion pictures. Yes. That are not actresses. Oh, <laughs> they are employees of production companies that have directors that direct them on how to make the movies. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's always the actress you think of or the actor because they're well known, but how many people actually are employed in the motion picture industry that when you read the credits, it says their name, but it means nothing to you because you don't know who they are. They're nobodies. They're like myself. Nobody cares about them. The key grip. Yes. What the fuck? I know all of those. Oh. Look at all the individuals that are employed in Hollywood that are manufacturing motion pictures that nobody cares about, but they put their name in the actual credits of the manufacturer of... No, no, just give me their names. Every person that's worked on any of these motion pictures that are manufactured... <laughs> I was, uh, I was working as uh, an individual at the Woodmark Hotel. Yes. I was doing room service, and they had a big name wedding there. It was a five-star event. Very, attra oh. <laughs> Very attractive woman was one of these that does the, the setting for the actual scene. <laughs> Puts the flowers up in the pictures, or rearranges the chairs, that type of person. Yes. I thought for sure she was attracted to me. I thought about approaching her as an employee of the hotel to suggest that we might want to be intimate. <laughs> he let me know.
<laughs> I know. I was in my 20s. I was going to a Christian university. And <laughs> she pretty much let me know that she was not interested. <laughs> and I, well, it did affect my self-esteem. I thought, well, I'm not as good as you are. <laughs> Working at the, at the hotel 40 hours a week while going to school full time. <laughs> I really I felt like I was put off. Like, how could you not be interested in me? I'm somebody of significance. I'm, I'm the guy that does the room service in the hotel. <clears throat> it's kind of like how I feel today. No one cares about me. <clears throat> I'm a little flower out there by myself. 